gonna show you guys that the bolt that I removed from there was a what is this right here? 14 millimeter. And it's a small bolt like that. It comes with the washer. Make sure not to drop the washer. <coughs> Once you remove the drain plug from there, you will come over here to this side and get the dipstick out so the transmission can breathe and you can make sure to get as much fluid out. Now the stuff that we are using here today is the Toyota automatic transmission fluid. Now this is the best stuff right here. We are using a transmission uh, filter from Toyota, a seal pack from Toyota. After that, we're gonna be taking off all these 10 millimeter bolts all around. Uh, there's about 20 something bolts here and I'm using a 10 millimeter as you can see here. I broke them all loose now and now I will go over them and release them with the ratchet. With the electric ratchet right here. And I'll bring you guys back when I remove all that and show you guys how to remove Okay, so now after you removed all the oil or all the transmission fluid that was in the drain pan um you're gonna want to put the plug back take off all the tens all around and if you see on this side right here this is gonna be a tube going straight up that's gonna be straight for your dipstick right there so what you're gonna want to do is when you drop this right here you're gonna want to have enough clearance to kind of wiggle it out now once you removed all these tens right here you're gonna have to fight with this gasket right here now if you see i inserted this um flathead screwdriver right through here here and here just the very tip alone and then through here and here and i did that just from the top over here if you can see the tip right there and then i just hammered it in a little bit when to go over here hammered in just a little bit again all you're going to want to do is just get the very tip of it no more than the tip if you shove too much of this in there you could damage anything inside the transmission so you're just going to want to go ahead and just do just the very tip of it where's my screwdriver oh, right here. so just the very tip now after i did that you're going to have more space from the driver's side opposed to the passenger side so after you get as much as you can down there from all of these top angles you're going to want to go ahead and come to this side and kind of just wrestle it out little by little like i said don't stick the whole screwdriver in there you can stick it through the side the whole side but no more than that and be careful to not damage anything now i'm gonna need two hands for this and i don't want to get my phone dirty so i'll put it over here and i'll see if i can record anything Absolutely 
looking for down here. Let me inspect the mug there, just to be sure. <laughs> See, this right here goes deep into the transmission and there's basically this harness right here where there's a bolt right under that's holding this and the transmission and the blocker. So I'm only going to remove that. So I'm going to end up just leaving the pen like that and I'm just working with it as it is it's causing too much trouble just to get it all out. And it's going to be even a bigger headache to fit, fit it all in. So, you guys pretty much get what I'm doing right here is I'm just basically cleaning this up. This is how it looks. This is how it looks when I'm basically done right here. Okay, you don't have to get every single little piece off, but just make it nice and flat. You will have to do the same thing to the transmission oil pan. And we are gonna remove the filter, which is only three bolts. One here, one here, and one here. And this pops off. We got the new filter here and then we got the all right guys so right now we are almost done cleaning the top here uh all the gasket that was on there now once we get done with the top we will remove the old filter that you see here and look at this filter so dirty right there now after we remove that filter we install the new one we'll be cleaning up the bottom here now on the bottom i want you guys to take a look inside you will have these magnets right here and these magnets you can kind of clean them off and you get all the metal particles that are basically trapped or basically get trapped from uh, the transmission so that they don't go back and recycle them there and if you see right there it's all metal particles in there so we're gonna clean these up Clean these up real good. You see all the little spikes on there. That's like very low, low, not too much wear. If you see a lot of that, then that's when you're gonna kind of get a little scared. Um, besides that, we're gonna clean up all the gasket maker on here as well, guys. Clean up the magnets. Clean this up very good. Put some new gasket maker on there and put this all back together. Uh, the torque specs for the uh, these bolts right here are set at 21 foot pounds I believe I said I believe I read I mean and the bolt for the drain plug is set at 15 foot pounds so we're gonna go ahead and do that at the end right now we'll show you guys how to remove the filter we're gonna go ahead and do this with a 10 millimeter Two bolts. Two bolts. Let's not mix these up, guys. Put a bolt on the back. And now you're gonna want to get this from the front and the back, and just toss it down like that. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, 
I should have I should have mentioned to get ready for uh, a little bit that's gonna spill out. Just tap. I'm dragging it. Just tap very gently. I don't want you to do it right there. Okay. Be very careful when the rest of the connection, make sure you don't cut that too much. Just like that. Okay. Now we got that all cleaned up right there. Just come on to the brain All right, we have our new filter here. The gaskets are right there. Now these gaskets will be facing up and you will have this little vent facing to the rear of the engine. And you're gonna wanna install it exactly like the other one was. Now don't worry if it is a little bit, if the surface is a little bit wet with transmission fluid, that is okay. Now one thing before you do start aligning it on here, you are going to want to match it up with the last one and make sure that it is the same size and the same width. Make sure all the bolts line up to where they should be. Make sure the gaskets line up. And once you make sure all that is good, then you can install it in there. I just turn those down just a tiny bit to get them started, don't even know. Don't even really put any tightness in there. Make sure you line them all. And then once you get them all aligned, you can do them one by one and make sure they go there nice and straight. Get these really nice and hand tightness before you're gonna start twerking them down. And when you twerk these down, you're gonna barely even barely even twerk them down. When I released them, they weren't even tight. And there you go, guys. That is nice and tight right there. For the most part, that's pretty clean right there, guys. We're just going to finish cleaning up the rest. On this side, we got the filter out. Make it all that right there. So, we're going to clean it up. We got the car running. We checked the car. The transmission dipstick when the car was nice and cold. Now the car is at operating temperature. We're going to take it for a test drive. Um, the way to check the transmission fluid level on this car is that you're going to want to check it once it's cold. On the dipstick, it's going to have two little marks. It should be, the fluid should be in between those two marks. And once you take it for a small drive, just around the corner and back, um, then you check it again and then it should be at operating temperature. And the transmission fluid should be nice and warmed up and it expands so it should be at uh, the temperature where it says hot on the dipstick and it should have two little guidelines where it should be in between the hot side 